story of Lev Parnas, who was an associate of Rudy Giuliani during his scheme to dig up dirt on the Bidens in Ukraine. This week, Parnas sent a letter to the House Oversight Committee urging Republicans to abandon their investigation into the Bidens. He wrote in part, quote, there has never been any evidence that Hunter or Joe Biden committed any crimes related to Ukrainian politics. Never during any of my communications with Ukrainian officials or connections to Burisma did any of them confirm or provide concrete facts linking the Bidens to illegal activities, end quote. Lev Parnas joins me now. Lev, good to see you, my friend. Um, tell me about this. What Hi, compelled Ali. you to get involved in this? Because this whole involvement with Rudy Giuliani and Ukraine and the Bidens has been nothing but hell for you in your life. Why Why say this? Why, why do this now? You know, Ali, you know, I've been, while serving time on home confinement, I've been watching a lot of television and watching what was going on, and it was just killing me to see that it was the same old misinformation campaigns without any evidence being brought up. And uh, I called my lawyer and said to him, you know, that this, I need to do something because, you know, I'm writing my book, and it's only going to come out in a couple of months. Uh, I need to do something now. And he said, you know what, why don't you write a letter and let's see what we could do. And I just put pen to paper and tried to, you know, because I wanted to make sure that Comer and the oversight committee really knew understood what was really going on because at the end of the day yes this like the same thing as this 1023 letter i mean it's the same exact thing what i was talking about lots of accusations lots of you know conspiracy theories but no facts behind it and that was part of what, what was going on while we were in ukraine so in our very politicized world, you have people who will say this is all nonsense and you'll have other people on the other side say um, Joe Biden, uh, it's a crime family and he was making money off of this Burisma and the top prosecutor, uh, Joe Biden, you know, got rid of the top prosecutor. Tell me what what really happened. What really happened was that. Uh Victor Shokin was a corrupt prosecutor that the whole West, uh, the Obama administration, not Joe Biden, but the Obama administration, the IMF, and all the Western countries wanted to get out of uh, Ukraine because he was corrupt. And the funny part is that it wasn't because he was doing investigations. It was the opposite. It was because he wasn't doing investigation into corrupt activity that was happening. And uh, it, it, the funny part about this letter also, it says that, uh, you know, there was a bribe paid to Joe Biden. Well, where are the wire transactions? transfers. Where are the tapes that they keep talking about? I think this is just a disservice to the American public and to our democracy, to what they're doing. What do you make of this week's testimony by these IRS agents suggesting that there is, in fact, not just that there was stuff that Joe Biden and Hunter Biden were up to in Ukraine, but there's some kind of cover-up based on what you know? I mean, obviously, you, you don't know these FBI agents and what they're carrying on about. But based on what you know, what's your reaction to people saying there's a cover-up? I think it's the same old story. I mean, you had, I, I, I'm not going to discredit these two IRS agents. I'm sure they're qualified individuals. Uh, but watching the hearings, I mean, it was basically a lot of accusations, a lot of here, there. But again, there was no facts behind it. There was no emails, text messages to show any of this going on. And uh, it's the same old theory, like uh, give little bits and pieces, but don't give the full facts. Don't give the whole truth. And so, again, uh, it's nothing more than the same old playbook that they're using being pushed by the same old people like John Solomon, Sean Hannity and Fox News. You and I are in touch a lot. Uh, you're an easy to find guy, uh, particularly at the beginning of the Ukraine war. You were you were giving me a lot of assistance in understanding what was going on on that side. Um, in your words, Giuliani and Trump actively orchestrated a campaign ahead of the presidential election to dig up dirt on the Bidens. And according to you and several investigations, nothing turned up. Based on what you know, and based on the fine f fact that anybody can find Lev Parnas, you're not a hard guy to find and, and sit down with and say, Lev, tell me the whole story. Why do you think these folks, these Republicans in Congress, keep pushing this narrative? Uh, I think they keep pushing the narrative is because they want to confuse the public. They want to be able to uh, get chaos going on in front of the 2024 elections, just like they try to do in the 2020 elections, to put a lot of doubts, a lot of thoughts into people. Most people don't have the time to go in and do research on their own and uh, and figure out the facts and everything going up. And then as Americans, we're taught to listen to our congressmen and our senators. And these people like Congressman you know, Marjorie Greene and Comer and Senator uh, Grassley, I mean, they're coming out on, onto major net television stations and talking about how this corruption is going on, that corruption is going on, and people hear bits and pieces of it, and they start believing in it. And that's just, you know, sad to see what's going on.
Lev, good to see you as always. Thanks for taking time to be with us. Lev Parnas is a former associate of uh, Rudy Giuliani. He was uh, closely involved in the investigation into what was going on.